frostite, and you have yeah. to frost it. So that makes sense. I like I like the the wild speakers. All right. Yeah, the garrets seem really good here. Um, now, one thing we have uh, in Jerry's deck that's uh, pretty interesting is he has a Day of Judgment in mm -hmm. his Esper Callblade deck, which is something that people, most people stop playing. That's yeah, because giving a really nice Miser's one of when he draws it when people are really like not playing around it. And, and and that was yeah. why he wanted in the deck was to have an out when when you needed something. Yeah, I mean it's just it's a get out of jail free card. Yeah, for that type of deck. So, uh, Inquisition is a card that's been proven to be very strong in this format. Yeah, it, it's just so it's so good because everyone is playing these proactive decks that that need their early spells to uh, that define the deck how how it runs. Mm -hmm. So you take a Lotus Corp, you take an Expedition or a, or a Stoneforge Mystic, and yeah, or even it, like a Tome Magnet, so you can get your sword plays online, yeah. things like that. Is Tome Magnet getting played much? Yeah, Tome Magnet has been at in almost all the decks that are at the XL bracket. Really? People, uh, the Call Blade decks even have Tome Magnets. Huh. I, I like stopped one or two copies. I stopped playing that in limited. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. All right, so we have preordain, and I think Jerry went one top, one bottom. I believe so. All right, we'll focus in on the match. That's a good idea. And we have uh, Adam here. Adam leads off with an island. Fast turn back, Jerry. And I'm guessing because these two are good friends, uh, they both know the matchup by now. Yeah, Jerry uh, leaving that mana open. It's uh, something you don't really see from that deck. Jerry almost definitely has a mana leak here. He just wanted to make sure you keep a Lotus Cobra off the table. Yes, uh, Lotus Cobra is uh, one of the vicious cards that lets uh, Rug get out of control against uh, yep. against uh, Cobblade. Cobblade likes uh, to control the tempo in the match. All right, so uh, Explore resolves and. Uh, Jerry has three coasts. I think he's missing black, because uh, I'm pretty sure he does have a, a Doomblade or an Inquisition in hand, but uh, no black mana yet. Lotus Cobra from Prozac. Uh, that hits the leak. So he did have the leak, but he didn't want to waste it on the Explore. Uh, so double fetch, so I think Prozac's coming up with another Explorer or possibly another uh, Lotus Cobra. Uh, he's running out of cards though, so I don't, I don't know how much he can explode. Uh, so what, what really matters is if uh, Jerry has something uh, to follow up with next turn. Alright, yeah, it's just an explore. It's probably better in this situation than a Cobra, actually. Yeah, and one thing that's interesting here with uh, Adam's win condition suite is that uh, Jerry may, you know, if Adam doesn't have double red, not be playing around a card like mm -hmm. Inferno Titan, especially if Adam's on no red. So cards like Frost Titan can kind of come out of nowhere and be six drops that yeah. can really do damage. So he's got Jace, uh, probably Fate Cillian. Uh I mean, since there's a Raging Ravine on the other side and also the chance of an Inferno Titan. I like this play a lot more than looking at your opponent's deck. Especially with uh, with Cobblade, because there's a lot of important spells you want to be hitting. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, I've seen him do that a lot, and I've seen you do that a lot. I haven't yeah. seen many other people. Yeah, Fate Sealing yourself. Uh, I mean, the only time I want to Fate Seal them is when I really don't want them to be like drawing any spells, and I know what spells they are. Yeah. Now Adam plays a Jace and uh, kills Jerry's Jace. Uh, Jerry plays a Hawk. <coughs> so we have... Yeah, we got the Hawks, and uh, I wonder what Prozac's got in hand. Um, attacking with a Rage Ravine every turn isn't going to be that great, but Jerry doesn't look like he's doing much besides the Hawks anyway. He's checking the uh, signatures. <laughs> I wonder who all signed him. Oh, that's a good question. Before we saw, Sperling has uh, his Hawks listed as the cast of Seinfeld. So, going into Worlds, uh, we weren't going to do it, but because it just... It, it would it would be worse than actually doing it, but uh, my brother Corey Kibler, Sperling, and I were going to be the the trifecta. We're all going to sign one hawk and then trade him. I, I thought it would have been awesome. Yeah, it sounds like a sick idea. Yeah, like in top eight, if someone top eight, we would have done that. Uh, Jerry just played another hawk and passed. All right, so it's Ooh, um, Adam plays a Garrett. Yes, but uh, I wonder if Jerry's got another black because he did just play a creeping tar pit, and uh, oh, he's just making the beast. 
So he's already conceding that that thing's going to die. I mean, it's it's not bad in this spot though. Like Jerry has to attack the Garrick now, and you know, like if he's gonna. And if he doesn't animate you know, and and Prozac has a lightning bolt, then it gets to live for another turn, makes another guy. It's true. It's gonna give Jerry full information of what he needs to do here. Mm -hmm. I like that play. And the thing is, though, is, yeah, does he have another black mana for that tar pit? So that's, uh, uh, he might. We, I don't know. It would have to be in his hand. Okay. Yes, yes he, he has those. He has marsh flats. Okay. Ooh, sword. So sword is coming down this turn. Yeah, and it's getting uh, equipped. So we did get deprived. Uh, Ooh, so sword won't come down and get equipped. <laughs> huh? Um, so Adam probably still has a bolt. It's mine. Well, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't put him on Bolt here. Uh, he's going to deprive that anyway, uh, if that was like the last card in his hand. And he, m he might let it resolve if, if he has any other cheap spells. So yeah, yeah. I, I want to put him on Bolt. Uh, the, the one reason why he wouldn't sword and attack with that is, uh, is because uh, it can't kill the Garrick. Like, Garrick's either going to die or, or Prozac's going to discard a card. And you can't do both anyway. So, yeah, I like this just dropping all of the cards in his hand. And this is where a Frost Titan would be very awkward. Yes. <laughs> this is why I'm such a big fan of the Inferno Titan in this deck. Third Explorer, they're all shiny. It looks like he's not activating a ravine. No, oh, he, he is. is. Yeah. Okay. It's time to race and see if he can get it done. And I don't remember. I, th I thought I saw Doomblade, but I, I, I don't know if Jerry's got that in his hand. But um, it's a great position he's in. He's got the second sword ready to go next turn. I mean, it just seems so strong right now. Mm hmm? He's attempting to equip. Yeah. It'll get there. Now he's going to play the the first stone forger, stone forge of the game. Yes, yeah, so he's got to get a uh, swamp here and a uh, sort of feast of famine. Yeah. Blue white deck should not have that ability. Yeah. Like, <laughs> at all. They get a what? They get to untap all their lands? I still, I, I, I want a day where the, where I'm playing with some instants, so when I attack with two swords, I get to do something in between the triggers. <laughs> so he has the ball. Oh, he does have the ball. Yeah, he had the ball. Uh, well, he's out of all spells then, right? That was his yeah, last card? He's, uh, he's on no cards now. And uh, so we're going to need to see a top deck and a really good one at that. Yeah, I mean, uh, Rug's a deck that can have good top decks. Yeah. So. <laughs> so it, yeah, it's off the top. Like, if he hits something that's really good, like, the game swings. <laughs> yeah, just another Rage Ravine attack. Jerry's not going to take any damage this time. Yeah, and now Jerry can start using his sword defensively. His what? His sword defensively. Yes. He can put both in play. Is that a mana leak? Yeah. So what's the downside of... Yeah, I don't know. Like The, the only downside is... I mean, he's going to double equip and... He gets through for. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised no he attacked with two. I would have just attacked with one and then get two guys back and equipped because then you have, like, blocker for both things. Oh, does he have a colonnade? No, he has the creeping tar pit. Yeah, it, I don't think. Does it change the clock? Um, the extra attack? Like the one no. point? No, it doesn't. That's why it doesn't make sense to me. Like, if you just leave two guys back who have pro green, then. Yeah. It just like takes all the steam. Adam just really needs to top deck, or he, his turn is really useless. Mm -hmm. 
I think here he's at least going to get in for a few points. And put Jerry at six, and then he has outs in the form of like trying multiple lightning bolts in a row and things like that. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, he can block with the tar pit. But yeah, then he's on a three turn clock. Yeah. Or no, no, it's it's a two turn clock, so he can block with the tar pit if he decides to. It's just uh, what he thinks Prozac's going to rip off the top. So give me the backstory on Adam. Uh, I was at home watching uh, some coverage and I saw he he won one of the standards. But yeah, other than that, I, I I don't know know much about the guy. So let me uh, let me get it up here. All right. Yeah, I think he was playing rug at the time, but uh, I got to watch his top eight and he's in he's in really good. But I, I I don't know much about him other than that. I mean, we all know Jerry. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I watched him do a lot of coverage the day afterward too, and you know, he really impressed me with uh, just his general knowledge of the game and uh, his approach to thinking about all, you know, different formats and whatnot. He seemed to have like a pretty deep understanding of legacy. Yeah, I, I feel he wasn't playing in the event. I strongly feel that uh, a lot of these guys that I'm seeing when I'm at home watching this, I'm going to be playing <laughs> in the next couple of years. Oh yeah, I mean, like Jerry, Jerry's like. Well, yeah, Jerry, yeah, but I'm, I like more incredible. like Burton Cheney and Adam Prozac. And... So, uh, Adam Prozac won the uh, the event in San Jose. Yeah. And uh, he also came in ninth in the event in D.C. Okay. And that was in the Legacy event. Do you know where he's from? Uh, Counterbalance. He's from California, he's from this area. He's a local flyer. Okay. And uh, you'll see him a lot. Good. You'll talk about him a lot. Adam Prozac, Prozac does he go to a lot of events? Oh, he's, he's from, from Arizona. Arizona. I'm sorry. That's really close to California, though. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I, I, I'm, I'm really interested in a lot of these, uh, these grinders, like the Drew Levins and the Britain Cheneys, like all these guys that are traveling. Like I know AJ really well, and I, I would categorize him with that. But like, um, AJ, Adam is. Oh no, we're. That was the yeah, last so. name I said. We're talking about uh, all of these like up and comers, the up and comers from the Star circuit. City gamers. Yeah, uh, I'm really interested in all their stories. Like, they all seem like uh, most of them seem like they're good enough to break through on the pro tour once once they get there. And like, because they've just been going to all these Star City Games events and just doing very well. And I keep seeing the same names. Like, yeah. Nick Spagnuolo is one of those kids who. Yes, yeah, Nick. Yeah. Yeah. He's when he one. when he beat me in the finals of the PTQ afterward, I would. I was so upset, and I Brad knows. I, I, he was the first person I called. Yeah, I was, it was it was very sad. Terrified on the phone, but it, Nick really outplayed me, and like that was like that's a really hard thing to like accept and like to like be there in the finals of a PDQ having played well all day, and then to really just have somebody really just crush you. And you're quote unquote the hardened veteran. He's this yeah, new I'm, I'm, kid. I'm like the pro tour champ. And all of a sudden, he just gives you a, a left turn, and yeah, he got me. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's fun. I, I, I like I like uh, playing against a young kid that when he when he impresses me or when 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 someone I don't expect it to, they just they make a, a high level play and you just never never thought you'd see it from them. Uh, so it's, it's such a good, it's a good feeling. Thing, though. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Just, it's awesome to see that people are like, you know, minds of the game. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're getting opening hands, and Prozac has to go down. Like Jerry smiling going down too. I think this is exactly. I mean, if anyone got to pick a situation, I think Jerry likes each player having less cards. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, That's, Adam's cards are very important. He yeah. needs these cards and these cards. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it, they all work very well together. But you want, you only want like one of each spell. Yeah, Adam wants the boom and the boom, and yeah. Jerry just needs a card. Yeah. I, that's a, that's why I card like card a dream. Yeah, <laughs> like all you need is a card and a dream. One step worth of mistake that'll do. Does it. Jerry still need more dreams? <laughs> Honestly. No. Uh, Says Brad Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> so I run good. Hey, everybody's. I, I mean, not everybody. I have. I mean, you still try and justify it. 
These guys have so much fun. I, I don't get it. Like, when I'm playing a match, I would be staring him down. Like, I, I would, serious I, mode? Yeah, I'd be in serious Before mode. Before and after the match. Before and after the match, I'm friendly, like, yeah. In between games, I'm pretty, you know. No, uh, I, I, I'm not. I'm soul reading a person. That's good. <laughs> I'm trying to put on my like intimidating face. Uh, I mean, it works, right? Yeah, it does. I have been told though that somebody was scared that I would actually. Did Adam stress out? It's kind of. No, it's yeah, six I, They would have caught it by now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know he's got an explorer because I saw a shiny. Yeah, mulligan on the play though. It's like something. It's kind of dangerous when you play decks like Valakut and decks like Rug. Well, it's just. I mean, you have to do it sometimes. Yeah, it's rough. Like, like you know, I mean, like, the, but, the thing about this format though is mulligans are so important. They're the they're yeah. the most important thing about this game. So the decisions that these guys have made will impact the game more than the decisions they're about to make. They're just so important in this format. Jerry, have uh, any counter magic in his hand for the uh, four drop uh, that is potentially going to be played on turn like three? What, what, do we, what do we think he did here? I, I, I bet he brought the. Uh, Some flash freezes come in. Uh, probably not a ton. Um, uh, I'm assuming Jace, Jace, Jace into the royal and yeah. Tech Edge have all probably come in. Doom Blades come in. Uh, that's about it, I would guess. I mean, maybe dress. It depends on. Uh, and how well he knows Adam's list. Yeah. Like it's important to not let your opponent get a Jace. That is really important. You're right. Especially like if, like if they're good friends the and they know each other's list, like and he knows that he doesn't have oracles. Yep. Another period in. So Adam doesn't have the uh, dreaded four drop on turn three. No, he does not. It's a good sign for Jerry. And it does, explorer. however, have another explorer. Yeah, these are the. Uh, I think that's a. That was a Jace. Yeah, these the are the. Oh, he's got a Jace in it. I think he does. That could be really problematic for Jerry. Yeah, that would be pretty rough. Oh, I think uh, Jerry's going to at least get to see inside of his hand here. Okay. And. Uh, and I mean, he gets the best turn probably with uh, perhaps Mana Leak and at least a uh, Stone Forge. Dropping of a sword. That's what it is. So. Uh, it's Inquisition, so. <laughs> Oof. Got all these big guys. All this boom. That's such a good feeling is when you, your hand's full of gas and they whiff on their Inquisition. I love that feeling. I, I was playtesting Rug uh, yesterday, just playing a couple games, and, uh, and I got to do that. No leak and there's there. Jace. We are probably going to game three. Yeah, looks like it. Now, uh... So, what's interesting is he... I think bouncing oh, the did, Oh, he did is, bounce the Stoneforge. It's definitely okay. Yeah, that's there, the Because yeah. now what's Jerry supposed to do? Try to attack the Jace and control the Titans that are starting to come down? Yeah, it's it's just a losing war for Jerry at this point. Because, yeah. like... Like... He knows he has to pass the turn with Counter Magic open, and then he's giving Adam turns with the Jason. Mm -hmm. He oh Jerry's just like uh, are you gonna get that six land or are you gonna have like a bunch of spells? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean that's he what can you miss a land of four cards. Yeah, I mean that's that's <laughs> what you have to do. And it looks like he missed. Did he? Yeah. It's pretty awkward. Oh no, is that a mystery in first? I think I think I spotted one too. Yeah. I think it was foil. It was I, just, to, just to be able to see the cards, I think we should just to take the mics over there and talk right behind each player. <laughs> and that sounds like a much better plan. All right. So, <laughs> does he have an explorer? Yeah, it's over here. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> I can see it. It's right there. Guys. Did he hit the land? <laughs> So that, I mean, that means, you know, Jerry's probably just going to shuffle. 
Christmas cards, right? Like, I mean, Jerry's a fighter. Yeah. Uh, and he, oh, he does oh, have the Doom Blade, yeah. Okay. And then he has to deal with the Avenger. And... Uh, no one said it was going to be easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the Jays. This is just one of those times where you really just have to, you know, think it through. Yeah. So he's and I like this plan for Jerry. Jerry's like, damage. Jerry is, is all right. I'm, you know, I'm gonna eat potentially eleven, probably nine, you know. Mm -hmm. Or I guess. Whoa. Making sure he didn't bring the condemns in. Yeah. Day of judgment, one time. Yeah, I mean, a day one of judgment of off the top <laughs> would uh, be pretty good at this point. Now we got a tech edge. All right, well, I mean, he has to blade the Titan, the Inferno Titan, or he loses. And tech edge the... The, uh, the ravine. ravine. Yeah. So his turn's pretty much spelled out for him. And then go to three. Yeah, and then I guess, you know... No, but Adam plays an Avenger next turn anyway. Oh, I know. If he does that. I kind of want, yeah. like, technical difficulties to come up, and then, like, five minutes later it comes back to, like, Jerry just crashing and killing him. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. So this complete mystery situation. All right, yeah. So it has to be Edge and it's the Edge of the Ravine, yeah. and then uh, yeah, Adam might not be able to play the Avenger now. Looks like Adam has no, another chase, a chase so. though. <laughs> it's the best thing about Rug is once it starts going, it's so hard to stop. Yeah, just you, you play all these cards that are. So much better than all of your opponent's cards. On turns, yeah, in very early turns. Like, like this is turn seven. <sighs> all right, one more turn for yeah. Jerry. And oh, well, that'll do it. I don't have the counter spell. Oh, he did? Okay, yeah. I didn't see the counter. I was like, kind of confused. confused. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Tap Gideon still works, right? Yeah, Adam uh, flashed Mana Leak. Yeah. And that was yeah, it. I didn't see the counter. Was... So, what do you think Adam brings in here? Um, so, Adam's Pro sideboard is, is. Probably some Tumble Magnets. I think two Tumble Magnets and Deprive, and he's taking out. Like, if it was me, I would probably cut Garrick. two. No. Really? You like, like Garrick probably in this two, match? two Lightning Bolts and an Avenger or a Frost Titan. Draft no, he needs all the threats. He doesn't have a ton of threats. Yeah, uh, that's why uh, I was On the draw, I could see a Garouk. Uh, on the play, I could see taking out more Lightning Bolts. I guess Garrick on the play, like especially like in combination with cards like Explorer, like cards like Bolt. Yeah, Lightning Bolt's one of your weakest like, cards. And Tumble Magnet is just a better removal spell for it. I don't think he's yeah, as long as he has some lightning bolts in his deck, like well, Jerry's going to be forced to like, has, bust to his chase all the yeah. time. If he has Nature's Claim in his sideboard, isn't he bringing it in? That's the argument. Like, what do you have Nature's Claim in your sideboard for unless you want to bring it in in this matchup? That's a good point. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's there to kill Conley Heart Expeditions. And Nature's Claim is interesting. Like, I don't know if that's necessarily what he wants to be doing. I think Extra Tone Magnets might just be better. He's like, if the thing he's worried about is swords. Uh, I mean, like like I said, I've not been playing that much standard as of late, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with his decision. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, especially with a deck like Rug, it's two people can win with a deck like Rug playing it in completely different ways, and with yeah. different lists because it's it the decisions and the process of thinking is just completely different than any other deck I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can definitely see some decisions being good for some players and some. Not. Where if he thinks that he needs to kill the swords, that that might be correct for him. Look, Frost Titan's pretty good. 
Yeah. Like, I mean, if other people are playing rug, people yeah, are playing no, I like I know? like Frost Titan against. Well, the thing is, once it, it would come down to a weird game that you're like locking down a Titan and winning. So I, I do like that the Frost Titan idea against other Infernal Titans. So I, I don't know what his thought process is, but that's a great one because it just it lets your Titan be good as the second Titan on the board. But I, I'm a big fan of the four Infernal Titans. Yeah, so am I. Just turn four, just get it into play, and you can ignore everything else. So just start the card and just it, wins the game completely. And it deals so up. much damage. Yeah. And it ends the game very quickly. Mm -hmm. you, know, it, you don't have to worry about drawing. <laughs> <laughs> These are two players that a lot of people were expecting to do well. Like when I talked to people at the beginning of the day, like, oh, who's yeah. here? Like Adam Prozac's name got brought up by a lot of people. Jerry's oh, you thought Jerry T was going to do good? I mean, he, he's, yeah, he's you been know, playing pretty I mean, bad as of late. Like, <laughs> he only won in top four last week, and he didn't, you know. You know, I, yeah, like the. I was, you know, a little disappointed. I thought that like it, he was at least going to make the finals. The legacy. I know, like, right? Whatever. Some people. Yeah. Just don't want two trophies. Loosey goosey. Yeah. <laughs> Can't close them out. <laughs> Maybe you can only win in the first couple hours of the day. Yeah. Because that's yeah, when like you the play. The first eleven way. of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't do anything at the end. All right. All right. So Prozac's Adam's going back. Jerry's, Jerry's happy with the seven. <coughs> <coughs> so how many uh, Cobblade mirrors have you guys had? Um, so far today, none. None. Yeah. Uh, such a good matchup. I I like Cobblade mirrors. Yeah, I'm the only I'm the only person who's a big fan. Yeah. And here. Like, one of them is different. The. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna poke in, peck in for a second. I definitely prefer like when one of them is slightly different, where it's like the red. This is Adrian Sullivan popping <coughs> in for a second. The red versus the pure blue white, or the red versus the black. Like those are interesting to me. I would watch until I passed out. Seventy-five card mirror matches. As long as I knew what seventy-five they were. I love a seventy-five card mirror. I love playing them. I love watching them. They're so interesting because like so what you do is you play test with your teammates, and then you get to the pro tour. And you didn't really consider the mirror, but now you're in it. And you don't have the tools to beat the exact 75 mirror. Yeah. So you have to start thinking outside the box and figuring out things. And it's great. It's, it's, it's I remember the first time mirror. you had this talk with me was yeah. at Nationals when you top eighted with the oh, that deck was makeshift mannequin deck. Yes. And in the yeah. first round of the top eight, you had to play against a 75 card mirror match. Yeah. 74. Se okay, we, 74. We, he, he had the red yeah. black filter where I had the Twilight Mire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, you and I talked a lot yeah. at that tournament, and you were talking to me about oh, that oh, mirror I was talking and just cool, how yeah. much fun it was, and like how every single card in the whole 75 yeah. was viable. Yeah, and, and you go so deep in the tank, and you have to figure out what they're going to do, because there's the deck turns into three different archetypes, like mid-range, aggro, and control, but let's get into the game. Yeah, let's get into this match oh, right here. Oh, there's a Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, we can keep talking. <laughs> yeah, Stoneforge Mystic picks up sort of Feast and Fam for Jerry on turn two. Jerry's on the play of this game. That's pretty big advantage in this yeah, matchup. Yeah, I mean, well, it depends. Like, next turn, if Adam has a couple good four drops, like, he might not be able to get the uh, sword online. That's true. I mean, ideally, Jerry wants to have a uh, counterspell here so that he can pass the turn, threatening to, uh, you know, use his <laughs> Stoneforge Mystic and yeah. uh, also counter a spell. And, yeah, that's game. He doesn't have... Even if he can't rip a Jace to play... Yeah. And it's just big spells, and he's only have four lands, and the preordain is going is is gone, and I think he'll take the preordain. I assume he's going to take preordain. I guess if you take explore, then you can't. There's no chance of a of a infernal titan next turn. Because if you take the explore, then he can't runner runner lands. It's true. But yeah, the preordain's the uh, better card. Yeah, I mean, it's just that, like, Adam needs very specific cards right now, and Preordain's better at finding those specific cards. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> I 
The other thing is the preordain costs one, so Adam could conceivably cast the preordain and cast other spells mm -hmm. simultaneously. Easier than it would be to, you know, explore and do the same. Oh, and he's got the uh, Doomblade even if Infernal Titan hits. And Avenger. Yeah, and I mean, the Stoneforge Mystic once has the sword is four toughness, which yes. is a pretty big deal. Yeah, it, it can't die to uh, the three damage of the Titan. Yeah, the, the Arc Lightning just doesn't get it. Now, uh, Jerry's going to get to untap all of his lands here. And play Jace. Very nice. And uh, Adam's going to have to discard one of dance. those massive Titans. Uh, he uh, he got rid of the Avenger of Zendikar. Yeah. Oh, I thought he had a Jason hand. Oh, he still does, yeah. Such a fair, balanced card, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Yeah, I mean, when, when I think about that card, I'm just like, you know, the design of that was just so perfect. They really, you know, they hit this one out of the park. Yeah, and they, and they, they and really, they, they just, they, they found it, they found that nice balance where it's like, you know, it's good enough, but it's not You're going to have to work really not. hard to put it in a deck. I mean, yeah, it, yeah, it you really got to work for it. Deck, like, you know? Yeah, it just goes into specific <laughs> archetypes. <laughs> so, uh, Adam had drawn that Jace last turn. When he used the explore, so he was able to use that to. Uh, so, right. pen rolling in from. Uh, from the I south. wanted to get in there. Yeah. So the stone forge mystic doing it looked like so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> put it. Put the sword on me. Why uh, didn't yeah. you find me? We were joking around a little bit because it it looks very over right now. Yeah. Um, Lotus cover coming down comes down from Adam, and uh, I mean. Lotus Cobra could let Adam play some pretty big haymakers. No, because you need the lands and the spells. Like, he's out of cards now. Yeah, I guess the, you know. <coughs> and it can't even, like, block a sword or anything. And two, now two Cobras. Now that, that can get out of control. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Cobras can't even block at this What's point. The, the program just uh, puts it down. Uh, y yes, this is round six. So uh, Patrick Shaven just stopping by, telling us that he is 5-1 after six rounds of play. He is playing the same deck as Jerry. That'll put both an him and Jerry at 5-1. and one. I don't want to speak too soon and say that Jerry won this game, but uh, it looks about as over as over gets to me. Yeah. Because even if Adam plays the Inferno Titan now, it's not even close to good enough. Jerry has the Doomblade in hand. He has the Doomblade in hand. He has the 8-8 Sun Titan. The eight eight Sun Titan. Yeah. Ooh. Well, he's just waving both the cards in his hand. You want to get a little practice in? I mean, you can't even play a Titan anyway. Yeah, it's just over. Yeah, and that's it. All right, well, that's the so. match. I'm going to let Adrian get back in the booth, but I'll be back later. All right. You won't see me much during back. Legacy, though, because I don't like those cards. Okay. But I'll come over and talk to you in between. Sounds good. Wonderful seeing you, as always. Yeah. I love you forever. <laughs> Have fun. Will do. No hug. Watch out, watch out. Yes. Yeah. Just look for it.